case you wonder why IKEA furniture is so cheap. What the f Not perfect, but I'm very tired. Oops. Finished! At last! I planned to do this one year ago. Can you imagine? Just for you to understand my level of procrastination. Look what a big shelf I have all along the workbench. It's a five meter long shelf. And yeah, I was planning to do that one year ago, maybe more. Uh, I found these parts from IKEA furniture while I was running. I took them, but they stayed in the storage room for almost one year because I never had time for installing them. But now it's done. In case you wonder why IKEA furniture is so cheap, so light, so nice and feels like paper in general is because it's mainly paper. I cut this part for putting the shelf uh, around the column there and yeah, as you can see, almost no wood. Do you still like IKEA? Well I like, look how big shelf I have. I also got some support for the shelf because yesterday I discovered that the one that I had was not 90 degree angle. What the f What the f is this? to the store and I've got some plastic angles for decorating that edge on my new shelf that is very ugly now but I will put these plastics like that and it will be very very nice they didn't have the longer ones 2.6 meters that I could buy just two long ones and attach them at once but they didn't have today so I've got six one meter long angles and I'm going to install it now. So this is how IKEA serves me. People throw it away when they are not happy with this paper wood. I pick it up and I repurpose it. Very happy. Now at last I will have some space for my music speakers because they are on the workbench here now and I never liked them here but they didn't fit on the top of the workbench on the, on the top of the cabinets here and I was waiting for these shelves to put them on the top and I will do it now at last but first I will have to manage some cables 
I will have to put a new cable somewhere here because I have a plug there and I will put a new cable here I will make a hole in the shell and I will put some plugs on the top I will connect the speakers there and I also have the security system that I will hide somewhere there as well so the progress is happening the setting up of the workshop is going very well lately i'm very happy that i find time during every week at least one or two days few hours few minutes i arrive here and i do something still not enough time for everything that i want time flies so fast for me you cannot imagine i have a million of things to do here my motorbike is waiting for example it's waiting for some repairs the palettes that I want to disassemble and to, to start building some furniture on this wall. I also want to decorate this wall. I also want to build a decorative wall for the desk, for having some shelves. I plan to put the whiteboard on this side of the desk. I also plan to do something similar like here. I will put similar thing on that side to have more symmetry. I already told that I'm very happy with this way of attachment that you can put more tools on the wall. You don't have to buy these special holders or hooks. Just some wood, some screws, some cheap angles and it will work perfectly. So I put the shelf at maximum as I could on this side and it's almost in the center of the workbench. You can see here it almost match the, the center line of the workbench. Not perfect, but good for me. I didn't want to cut the shelves. I didn't want to lose any more material. So I did it in the way I did. And I'm very happy about that so far. So that's it for this weekly recap. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you next week. Bye.